Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. I'm doing something today that I've been wanting to do all summer, and that's uh, do an overnight in a poncho shelter. I've been uh, practicing all summer setting up different uh, poncho shelters in my backyard, and today I was going to give it a uh, test. Um, my neighbor was nice enough to uh, let me go on his property and uh, set up a makeshift poncho camp, I guess. So I got all my gear with me. My... Uh, got my Roy Croft uh, pack frame on that I built here about a year and a half ago with a dry bag, bunch of my gear stuffed in it, some clothes, a couple bottles of water, canteen full of water, and I'm going to go out there, set up, and I'm going to uh, show you guys a little bit of my uh, camp, I guess, while I'm doing it. And uh, the temperature out here today, I'll mention that real quick, it's about 58 degrees out. It's mostly cloudy there's a few patches of sun and there's about an 18 i'd say mile an hour northwest wind right now so if you hear a little breeze that's what that is hopefully that will be uh dying down a little bit closer to uh evening but i got all dark colored clothes and stuff on today i'm kind of doing this i don't really want to call it a stealth camp but it's sort of all just a low-key camp i'm not gonna start a fire or anything and i'm just going to uh basically use my gear as a camouflage to a certain extent anyway i'm going to walk back in here now and i'm going to show you what my camp looks like i am where there are houses and people and roads and stuff so you're probably going to be hearing background noise like i said this is just kind of a low-key camp here um sort of out in uh my local neck of the woods all right, I'm back where I want to camp for the night. I'm in a bit of a uh, sheltered area here, and here is my pack. This is my uh, Roy Croft uh, pack frame that I made. I got my clothes on the bottom. I got my sleeping mat. I got a uh, pad to sit on, and then uh, underneath the schmog there, I got uh, my dry bag filled with uh, basically my sleeping gear, my uh, two ponchos and my uh, two poncho liners, and then everything else I pretty much have in my uh, kit bag or uh, on my belt. And over there is a deer watching me watch it. These are my uh, two ponchos that I'm gonna use for my uh, shelter kit. Now, the wind is actually coming directly in my face right here. It's coming directly out of the northwest. So I'm actually going to put my lean-to up um, so it's actually facing southeast. And then that way I have a uh, windbreak if this wind keeps up. The first thing that I'm doing here is I'm actually snapping my two ponchos together lengthwise. That's so one can be a uh, ground sheet and then the other one can be my lean-to. Well, I got my camp set up and uh, the sun's starting to come out now. Just sitting here by the uh, tree and there is my shelter for the night. Um, I got two ponchos, one's down for a uh, ground cloth ground sheet and then the other one is my uh, windbreak and the wind is actually coming from the um, northwest which is breaking on the back of this got my uh, Roy Croft uh, pack frame sitting back in there that bag right there I got my uh, food in and my little uh, camp stove and uh, all my straps and all my little bags and all my extra cord and stuff make sure you police that up right away and get that all squared away when you're um, when you're camping so nothing ever gets left behind or you don't lose that stuff i pretty much got all green or camouflaged cord today so i don't want to uh, lose any of that stuff i got my heavy coat in case it gets cold um i got two poncho liners here and i got them tied together so they form a little bit of a sleeping bag got one on the bottom one on top got me uh a sleeping pad here and then underneath uh, this right here this is actually my dry bag I'll show you quick it's my dry bag underneath there that I just put air in that I'm gonna use for a pillow and then I covered it up with a schmog I'm gonna sit down here for a few minutes I'll take you around the back and show you what the back of this looks like do a quick walk around right here got my uh, my sitting pad there Got my two uh, 
metal water bottles with uh, dark colored socks pulled over top of them so they don't clank together or uh, shine. And then I got a military canteen. Got my uh, ridge line here with my figure nine carabiners. Got some sticks to hold the uh, Prusik loops, loops in the grommet. Got a uh, another carabiner hanging there. That's so I can hang a, a red headlamp later so I can have a little light when the sun goes down. It's my other tie out. And then uh, got that just uh, tied off with one of those Marlin spike hitches to the tree. Got uh, painted tent pegs there with uh, Prusik loops holding everything in place. Another one there on the front. Ran out of tent pegs, I only had four, so I cut some uh, Y sticks. Uh, show you here, sort of like this right here. Just cut some Y sticks to uh, use basically as tent pegs. There's the other tent peg. Another Y stick there. And then I tied the um, hood to pull it back a little bit to uh, give me a little bit more room inside the lean-to and make that a little bit more taunt. And then uh, tied that off up here on the tree with another figure nine carabiner. So that's basically what, uh, what my camp looks like. Well, I got camp set up now, so I thought I'd do just a little bit of uh, foraging. And what we got here, and these are wild grapes. They grow all over around here. And uh, I grabbed my uh, canteen cup out of my uh, canteen pouch there. And I'm gonna pick a few of these guys. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a little bit of grape juice. I got about, uh, I'd say 50 of them or so picked in there. Now you don't wanna pick these right full because these guys are uh, actually a bit of a laxative so you don't want to make this uh, grape juice too strong and what I'm going to do with these uh, 50 wild grapes here is I'm going to take my one water bottle there and I am going to cover these guys with probably most of the water that's in that water bottle then I'm going to bring them up to a boil I'm going to let them simmer for a little bit and I'm going to take my uh, MRE spoon there out of my pouch and I'm going to uh, fish out the little remnants of the grapes um, and the seeds that are in there. And then I'm going to add a little bit of sweetener into it. I got some uh, honey here. I brought a little packet of honey with me here in with the food. But you could certainly do this with a uh, packet of sugar as well. Anyway, I'm going to get this uh, cooking here and show you how to make this grape juice. that's basically all there's to it um, you boil them till they burst it only takes a minute or two of uh, boiling and those grapes will uh, burst now I'm gonna just take my spoon and I'm going to uh, take out the seeds and the skins and then I'm gonna add my honey pack it into it and uh, stir it and uh, let it set then I'm gonna transfer it back into my uh, water bottle there so I can have it to go with my supper I took a little walk and uh, I'm standing over sort of in that general area where that deer was standing and my camp is right in that area right over there. And some more deer. Looks like what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Some yearlings, some big does. Perfectly oblivious to me sitting here. After watching the deer, I decided I'm going to make myself a little bit of supper. I'm uh, boiling a little water there. And I'm going to throw some instant mashed potatoes in it and a little bit of that chicken gravy and a pouch of uh, that chicken right there. So I got a little bit of a uh, Thanksgiving dinner going on out here.
And there is my supper. Um, just mashed potatoes, chicken, and uh, that gravy mix. Actually, one package of uh, mashed potatoes is enough for um, two meals. The same with the uh, chicken gravy mix. So if you carry two um, packs of chicken, one package of gravy mix, and one package of uh, instant mashed potatoes, you actually have enough for uh, two meals. Now to clean that cup and myself, um, I got a pack of wipes in my thigh pocket here of my hiking pants. Just an easy way to uh, carry something so I can clean up. Makes it easy to uh, clean up this cup or myself. And I got it right handy on me all the time. All right, I got my uh, supper done and my uh, cup cleaned out. And I'm going to have some of my uh, homemade grape juice here that I made. Trying the old grape juice here. Kind of tastes like a um, like a mild Welch's with just a little bit of sweetener in it. Um, it's pretty decent. It'd be really good if you could get this uh, ice cold. If there was like a stream or something around here, you could uh, drop your metal water bottle in to uh, chill it. But uh, there isn't, so we just got to go with uh, the temperature that it is. And the deer are back. That point down there, that's where I walked around when I came in. I think there's an old apple tree down in there. That's why they're uh, going back in there. That closest doe right there, she's about 35 yards from me. The bucks are over there, off that point. That doe, she knows I'm here, but she doesn't know exactly what I am. That's why she's stomping her foot like that. She finally figured out what I was. That's why they're flagging with their tails like that. And there they go, I'm busted. Well, after watching the deer for a little bit, I decided to take a nap. And now that it's after dark, I'm gonna take a little walk. I'm gonna grab my uh, water bottles there and we're gonna go uh, get some water and uh, head back here then to turn in for the night. This is a public restroom about a mile or so from where I got my camp set up. And it's also a perfect example of, you can think outside the box when you're looking for resources. You don't necessarily have to get your water out of a uh, ditch, lake, or stream. Sometimes you can uh, make mental notes of places like this so you can do things like fill your water bottles. I had a pretty much uh, an uneventful walk over here scared the shit out of a couple of dogs that were uh, sleeping in somebody's yard but other than that it's been pretty uh, quiet so I'm gonna fill my water bottles up here and I head back to camp all right I am back at camp after my little two mile uh, power walk to get these guys filled up right here set them right here so I got them for the morning now we're gonna crawl in our little uh, makeshift sleeping bag here try to catch some Z's we'll see you guys in the uh, morning <clears throat> starting to get uh, light in the east it's a uh, it's about 6.40, 6.45. My phone says it's about uh, 49 degrees out here. Um, the wind died down a little bit. Gonna let the uh, sunrise go here a little bit and then uh, I'm gonna get up and make some coffee. I was kinda hoping for a spectacular sunrise, but cloudy over in the east so I'm not sure I'm gonna get that um, got my uh, coffee going here 
heating up some water on my camp stove. Got a couple bars there for uh, breakfast. And uh, my canteen here, I'll show you, I got enough light here. <clears throat> Little pouch here on my canteen. Good place to uh, put some instant coffees. So I got a couple instant coffees uh, stuck in there. When my water uh, heats up here, I think I still got my spoon around here somewhere so I can stir it. And I'm going to have myself a little coffee. See if I can't get you guys a little uh, better sunrise picture here for a wrap up. And that is my uh, shelter there. What it looks like here in the morning. I uh, uh, turn here around here. Took my uh, big coat and I stuck it into my um, dry bag for a little extra support. Wasn't holding air quite like I thought it was going to, um, but it was no big deal because I didn't really need the uh, coat. Hung my uh, headlamp up there in case I needed to turn that on there in the middle of the night, but it was uh, it was okay. Coffee starting to boil there. I added a little bit more water because it was a little strong. I guess I can shut it off here. There's an overflow on me. It was, um, it was okay, but uh, I'm getting too old to sleep on the ground. I'm more of a hammock guy. A hammock is just 10 times more comfortable than uh, laying on the ground is. I mean, even though it wasn't really cold last night, it uh, still, the laying on the ground if you're not used to it even with uh even with that thin little pad that i got there it uh it wasn't the most comfortable in the world but it was uh survivable ah, turn around here still don't have no decent sunrise to show you we'll give it a few more minutes here though while i'm having my coffee There is about as good a sunrise picture, I think, as I'm going to be able to get for you guys while I'm sitting here having my coffee. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little video here of me just uh, spending the night out here on uh, my neighbor's property and just my improvised uh, little poncho shelter here. Hope I uh, showed you guys good enough so if you can, uh, you can replicate it for yourself showed you a couple of little things showed you the deer showed you how to make a little grape juice with the uh wild grapes showed some uh cheap and expensive food you can throw in your pack so you don't have to uh spend the big money on the mres and stuff um it's just nice to get out and do these things it's nice to get out and do these things solo too because uh sometimes the only person you might have to rely on is yourself so um I'm going to sit here now, finish my coffee, finish watching uh, what's left of the sunrise here, and uh, start tearing down my stuff and uh, head out for the day. Go do some uh, work, maybe do some prepping. Anyway, um, it's Modern Refugee. Appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope you guys uh, get a little entertainment and get a little information out of the videos of just the stuff I do. Anyway, you guys take care.